All right, chainsaw tip of the day is not all of them, but good percent of pro chainsaws and upper and uh, pro chainsaws uh, like uh, Husqvarna 550s and 346, 357s, uh, possibly even the Ranchers 455s. Now, um, other ones, I don't know if steel and other ones do that too, but I know the Husker one is especially the 3 Series, the older 350, 335, 357, 59, 365, and up, and a few other have a grease fitting hid in this area here, believe it or not. Yes, a grease fitting. Well, sort of. It's actually what you would use is just like you're supposed to grease the tip of your bar there. That little hole. See that little hole? There's a little tiny hole right there. You're supposed to have a little grease gun. New tip. Um, you could use the same type that you'd grease a CV boot on a car, but they do make a little grease gun. Anyway, not all saws, but some. Just check this out. Say you're, you know how when your saw is idling, the chain's spinning, nah, maybe the idle's up too high, but you set the idle down almost to where it's barely idling, it's still spinning. Okay, your clutch is brand new. It's spinning freely. Well, your bearing could be bad. Okay, so you gotta change your clutch bearing, uh, shaft, seal, etc. But, to prevent that from going bad before you get to that, focus. Now, this one doesn't have it. This is a 435. This is a homeowner grade bow saw. So, what do you expect? I'm working on it. Uh, it's almost brand new, but it's nothing but problems. Typical 435, 440 series. Uh, it's the only saws I don't like from Husky. Anyway, to the point, uh, this is for shits and giggles. Take your cover off. And by the way, if it's a 435 with the one bar in it, always put the damn bar in it back on there. Because if you lose one, you're screwed. Because there only is one. At least with other soldiers, you got two. You could probably finish the day cutting. Anyway, right in here, in the center of the clutch, on some saws, most pro saws anyway, that goes down. There's a, just like a, uh, a spring shackle bolt with a grease fitting on the end. The hole goes down, and then the needle bearing is inside this clutch drum, inside this, behind this drum, and behind the sprocket. So, if you just take your same grease gun that you use on the tip and stick it right in there, just pump a couple squirts, you'll put fresh grease on your bearing for your drive clutch and assembly. And you keep that bearing from uh, burning up, going bad. Good tip. Um, I knew about it, and I just forgot about it. And then I remembered it, and then I've seen someone else posted it about it. So, yeah. Uh, there are grease fittings on a chainsaw. Not just the tip of the bar up there. Which, you don't really have to grease too much. If you're cutting hard, heavy stuff all day long, it's hot out. Give it a squirt of grease in the tip now and then. And it keeps your bar, you know, tip from blowing apart after a while. And, yeah, if your saw does, the way you can find out is just take a... Uh, small allen key uh anything stick it down in there and if it goes down in deep enough past i'd say at least a clutch good chance that because that's where the, the bearings be right at the back side of that get over there the bearing is right behind the chain there so if you can get if you can stick something down in there and it goes at least that deep this one does not. You probably focus. There we go. You probably can put some grease in there. Now I wouldn't overdo it. Just uh, one pump, one pump, two pumps. That's it. And I guarantee it'll save you from uh, having to change that bearing right away, especially on bigger soils like 365, 372, even the ranchers, they, they, spin, they spin that chain pretty quick, especially if you're cutting some big hardwood, um, 24 inch bar, you're putting a lot of, there's a lot of RPMs coming out of there. 
60 feet, uh, 50 to 60 feet per second. Think about that for one second. <laughs> 60 feet, one Mississippi. That's how fast that's been. Approximate. Some soils are more, some of them are less. But. And that's all I gotta say.